Do you ever get frustrated with yourself because your to-do list doesn't get to done <laughs> or the takes time to learn something new and you get a little exasperated and you think, oh man, if I could just finish this, then I could get on to the next thing. If so, this might be the video that you've been searching for because what I'm going to talk about is hang time. And when I learned this, when this, when this concept came to me, it, it, it like shifted my mindset. It shifted the way that I look at things. And I'm excited to share it with you. I really am. So I have a weekly uh, networking group and I was talking to one of the women in the group and one of the icebreaker questions that I asked was, are any of you working on something currently that you don't know how to do or maybe haven't perfected or you know, really gotten to the point where you want to be and um, you know, you're will, you're committed. You're like, yeah, but I'm going to, I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to learn it. I'm going to keep practicing until I get it. That was the question. So my um, practice that I'm currently practicing that I shared with the group was being able to do a pull up. And you know, I shared with the group, I said, I can't tell you if I've ever been able to do one complete chin up, you know, with my chin all the way up to the bar, but I am committed to making that happen. I am committed to hanging on the bar and doing whatever it takes to just, you know, hang there and get that upper arm strength so that I can complete that one chin up. And I was excited. And then I also shared with the group, I said, but I, in all full honesty and transparency, I will tell you that right now, about all I can do is hang there. And one of the women in the group is a retired Navy chaplain. And she said, hey, Nancy, you know, I wanted to share with you that in the Navy, when um, people are learning the obstacle course and practicing the physical exercises that they, they need to, that are required of them, um, when they are doing a pull up, they get credit for hang time. So perhaps they haven't quite mastered the pull up, but they are hanging there and holding on for the length of time that's required of them and they get credit for that. Well, I really started thinking about that after our uh, group was over, after we were done meeting and I thought, wow, when I really start thinking about hang time and then I think about, you know, okay, the time that I'm hanging from the chinning bar that is doing something, right? It's building up whatever muscles need to be built up so that I am able to do that pull up that I want to do. But I started thinking about it in other areas of my life and on my calendar, in between um, appointments or in between clients, you know, there's that um, maybe what I would call downtime or free time. And I started redefining it as hang time. Because in my mind now, hang time means that thing that I'm doing, that thing that I'm committed to, that I'm getting credit for. And think about this, it's like, who's giving us credit? Because it's only ourselves that matter, right? We're the one, everything is in our mind. We're the one that's saying, oh my gosh, I didn't get enough done today. Or, oh, oh my gosh, I promised that I would deliver this and it didn't happen or oh my gosh I'm trying to learn this new thing and I can't figure it out or I feel like my knowledge is coming so slowly to me because let's face it so many of us are geared towards that negativity right we chastise ourselves we look at the things we didn't do as opposed to the things that we did do but now with this two words hang time it's changed everything and I keep thinking like wow if I start looking at things as hang time, for me, this means that during that hang time, whatever that is, if it's in between clients, if it's um, that time when I'm learning something new, when I'm creating a new product or workshop or um, whatever it is, maybe it's even like hang time is reading a book or going to the grocery store, or going for a walk outside, or making a cup of tea and sitting there and relaxing. It's all hang time. Because it's all time spent in action for something 
that we desire. Now, what do I desire when I'm sitting there having a cup of tea? I desire relaxation, peace of mind, thoughtfulness. That's really positive hang time. That's really positive time that I'm giving to myself. What a gift. What a gift I'm giving to myself. If we could start thinking about hang time as a gift that we're giving to ourselves. I am committed to this. Now, why am I committed to this? Because it's something I want to do for myself. Think about it. When that time comes, when I am able to raise my chin up to the bar, how excited I'll be. But if everything depends on, if my excitement, if my, my belief that a job well done depends on being able to put my chin up to the bar, then I, I will always be in that state of, I haven't gotten it yet, I haven't done it yet, I'm not there yet, I haven't arrived yet. But when I realize that hang time is so valuable because it is the journey. And you know that saying, life is a journey, not a destination? I'm sure you've all heard of that. But when you really think about that and you think, well, am I enjoying the journey? And now that's how I've come to see hang time. It's the journey. Am I enjoying the journey? Because let's face it, if you're doing something you don't enjoy, you're not enjoying life. And anyone who's ever had a uh, job where you get paid hourly or get paid by the, uh, by the completion of your job, you know, we don't necessarily look at the hang time, the time that it takes us to complete the job as something that we've completed, as something to com uh, you know, commend ourselves for and say, good job, you're doing a good job. Because we've got people looking over our shoulder, did you finish that, did you do it? Are you done with that yet? Did you turn it in yet? And so what are we doing? Inside our heads, we're telling ourselves, oh my gosh, I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm falling behind. I haven't done you know, what other people are wanting me to do or I haven't even finished what I want to do for myself. But if it's a job we enjoy doing, then the doing, that's, that's part of the experience. That's part of the journey. So are we enjoying the doing? Because when you're enjoying the doing, that creates a very powerful state of being. When you're really enjoying what you're doing, when you can look at your calendar and say, hey, look at that space in between clients, or hey, look at that time spent doing what I love to do. That is a gift. But I really think that so many of us tend to look at our calendars and think, oh, that was the time when I should have maybe done that extra thing or maybe I could have eaten on my sandwich while watching that tutorial and, you know, done two things at one time so that I could have eaten my lunch and learned what I was supposed to learn. Instead of taking your lunch and go someplace where you're relaxed and sitting back and feeling relaxed and saying, you know what, this is me time. This is time for me. And I've come to see hang time as me time. It's something I'm doing for me because the business that I do for myself, I love it. I love what I do. I love everything about what I do. I love learning new things so that I can do even more. But if I'm in a state of being where I'm feeling overworked, um, overwhelmed, pressured, hustle and grind, that is a state of being that is very primal. And that primal state of being, of course, is that flight, fight or freeze mode where you feel like you're under the gun about something. You're just like, oh my gosh, you know, I've got to get this done. I've got to figure this out. But when you can give yourself credit for the hang time and you sit back and go, oh, I am really enjoying this. This is fun. This is really fun. And you know what makes it fun? Is that you know you're doing something for yourself. When I'm hanging from the bar, it doesn't matter to me anymore if I get my chin up to the bar. What matters to me is that I'm hanging there. And every time I hang there, 
I'm able to hang there a little bit longer than I was the time before that. And those are the things that really get me excited. I'm like, oh, yesterday it was to the count of this and today it's to the count of that. This is progress, this is awesome, this is amazing. And it's fun. And fun, when you're having fun, that is a very powerful state of being. And when you're in a powerful state of being, that's where you really want to manifest from that state of being, right? Because when you are vibrating from a powerful state of being, when you're in that powerful frequency of love, laughter, enjoyment, having fun, being with people that you love to be with, talking to people that you love to talk to, uh, creating things that you love creating, doing things that you love, you can't help but attract more of the same. Likewise, when you're in a very primal state of being, you can't help but attract more of the hustle and grind, more of the overwhelm, more of the chastising yourself and feeling like you don't get things done. So I really hope that this thought, these two words, hang time, might change something for you, might shift something in your perspective. I would love for you to leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about hang time. Has it shifted anything for you? Did it give you an opportunity to think differently about some of the things that you've been scolding yourself for that you haven't been getting done or finished or what, whatever you've been scolding yourself for? Has, has it given you the opportunity to sit back and go, yeah, but I get credit for hang time. Leave me some comments, let me know because again, you just never know. When other people watch this video and then they get to read your comments, we together, collectively, are creating so much power. Power, we are able to stay in that powerful state of being because we're all uplifting each other. If you have any questions on anything that I do, visit me at masteringyourbelief.com, get some free resources, get to know me, and in the meantime, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. This is Nancy Muller, the one and only Life Sensei, saying ciao for now.